So I'm here with Patsy. Patsy is my go-to makeup artist, so she's very clever. Um, so you were the person I wanted to come to because there's the Beautify kit. It's the Holly Day, Holly Day uh, kit. <laughs> and inside there we've got a lip. What we have a lip and yeah. then we have a cream blush. Yes. Like this is a bit shimmery. So a there's a bit, of, yeah, a bit, a bit more summer glow going on. And then there's an eye quad palette, which... It's got the perfect shades in okay. for the look that we want to create and a waterproof mascara. Yes. And essential. I think it's essential yes. as well because you just don't know what's going to come along in the day. I'm very lucky because I get to watch Patsy do this daily and I've definitely picked up tips and tricks off you. But you're going to show us how to use this. And this is sort of like a nice everyday, you know, you could vamp it up a little bit if you wanted to go into the evening, but really this is kind of your go-to basic how to use this kit. Yes, and we'll show how you can use these eyeshadows really easily for the yeah. daytime, but there is a couple of tricks that we do that I can show with this as well. Let's for do like it. doing an eyeshadow eyeliner. So, okay. so first of all, um, I'd go with the highlighter in the corner of the eyes. Okay. Just to brighten up and you could even just go out like this if you haven't got any time, loads of mascara. So when you're saying the highlighter, like when you look at the quad, it's the light, it's literally the lightest, not this sparkly. No, that's golden. And okay. It's the top right it's one. the light one. Because it helps brighten everything a little uh -huh. bit, adds a bit of sparkle, but not too much. Look up for me. And then I might bring it underneath a little bit. Yeah. And most people can do this. It doesn't matter what skin tone you are, because it will just reflect. And eye shape, I guess, because everybody's eyes are different, aren't they? Yeah. So. One thing a lot of people always ask about is um, hooded eyes. Like, and I've got very small eyes and it's difficult, but you just have to take one tone and put it as a wash across the whole eyelid. Okay. And not be scared of it, really. Right. So, so I'm going to take this sort of, it's like a peachy, corally, pinky color. tone, like the perfect tone, I would say, for an all over wash. And I'm going to put it all over your eyelid. So this is like your main, your main color. Your main block of color. And I, I mean, eyeshadows, like, texture varies, don't you think? Yes, the texture varies and the pigment. So the dream is getting, like, a really good pigment, but with a really satiny, silky, movable texture. So when you get those two together, you kind of... That's your winner. You're cooking on gas. And you don't, you don't, because um, some people find, like, they wear eyeshadow and then it gets stuck in the creases, creases. or it's sort of, like, it's quite dry. It depends on your eye and how much hydrate, how hydrated it is, or the shape of your eye. So good to get that base in with your skincare beforehand. Yes, yeah, I'd say. And you can prep and do a bit of concealer as well on your eyelid. Uh huh. And do eye. You can do primer to help. But you know, it's unrealistic to think it's going to last for twelve hours. So you do need to keep on top of things and check it. So I'm feeling what you're doing there. I would have thought when you're doing a wash, it's just that lower lid, but you're actually going slightly above that crease yes, line. I'm kind of I'm pushing it as a, a whole. But blending it out. Blending it out. So it's not so, solid out, no. you're blending it. So I'll demonstrate that again. So okay. if you turn that way a bit more, I'm going to apply it in the middle with the brush. Yeah. Apply the colour all over. Now this is a makeup artist geek thing. We like to use separate brushes. And I'm going to use a separate brush to blend. Yeah. And I'm blending it out. Because this product moves really easily, it doesn't get... It attaches where I want it to attach, but yeah. I can move it out, which is what I want. And blending is really important. You don't just want a solid chunk of colour, do you? No. But this mm -hmm. is easy. It's practice. But a lot of people don't realise, don't use the same brush right, for blending. Okay. If you want it perfect. Which we do. Yes. Which we do. So um, then we could take the, um, the rosy, shiny colour mm -hmm. and we could place that across the middle area. And you do this in the day as well, or is this more of a kind of... You could do this in the day, I'd say. Or we could show how you do an eyeliner with eyeshadow. Which I like. Which you Because sometimes, like, it. I like a flick. Like, sometimes, like, you want a cat flick and you want to do that with a liquid liner, and that's really nice. I do like that. But more in the daytime, I feel like that softer, smudgy line is exactly that, just a bit softer. And you can do it with a cold pencil or lots of fat pencils, but you can also do it with an eyeshadow. Yeah. But it's not many people know how to. Okay, show so, us. So I'm gonna go in with the corner mm -hmm. and do like a pretend flick. Is it more forgiving powder, uh, eyeshadow even, than a... Yes, it's not as hard. So if you want a softer look, or and also it's brown, so it's got that 
it's not harsh at all. Yeah, and I guess you can just blend it away to soften it. So there I've applied it. I'm going to do the other eye. We've got a bit of drop, but we'll clear that up in yeah. a minute. But this, because the pigment's so good on this, you could do a really strong smoky eye with this and go into the sockets for an evening look. Uh, what do you mean, like up here? Yeah, if you wanted to do it. Or you could do it all over the lid. Wow. And then apply the rosy sort of mid-tone. So it's quite versatile, that quad, then, yeah. depending on where you... Like, this isn't, like, the only way to place it. You can play with the other colours. And it's about figuring out which how many ways you like using it and you mm -hmm. don't have there's not one way it's a good um place to start isn't it that quad i think very very good because you've kind of it's not too scary but also perfect for the summer because you can just i love that corally color on you i like that color yeah i i really like it so i'm using the brightening corrector now uh -huh. which is not a part of the kit but it's a it's a good age should be <laughs> We all need this in our lives. Yeah. So I'm going back afterwards. So my advice, if you're playing with this kit, yeah. is don't finish your eye makeup, like your under eye base, until you've had a play in an experiment and you're not you're not too nervous about everything. Because then it doesn't matter if it drops. It really doesn't matter. See, I smudge this in with my finger when it's just me at home. And I do a mixture. I do a little bit of brush, a little bit of... Pushing it in. And I do your trick that you taught me about putting it in there right, where in that the blue is. And when I mean blue, like, I mean, like, to the side, you get, like, a little dark shadow right, there. in here. Yeah. If you buy something new, if you've gone to the effort of buying something new, give yourself the time Just to play with it. Just give a bit of time, yeah. Because people give up on things really quickly or, or follow a tutorial. You know, all my friends do that. They're like, I just want to know how to do it. Well, they can follow, follow this one now. The mascara just makes everything pop. And then we're going to use the waterproof mascara, mm -hmm. which is very nice. Um, it's got a lovely small wand, which I like, because you, once you sort of wiggle in to that sort of the eyelash line, you pick up all the tiny little eyelashes that are growing out, because we have a cycle with our eyelashes. And there's always new ones coming through. So you want to get all of them? Yeah. And this is quite good because it's got a tiny end. You can go into the corners here. You know what's nice about this mascara as well? It doesn't feel like a new mascara when you open a new bottle. Does you, that make sense? Like you've got to wear it in. Sometimes like, like mascara, new jeans. I'm like, oh, it's going to be annoying for like the first two weeks and then it will be my friend. I have that as well. Yeah. But this doesn't do that. No, it does. If you're right, it feels like a. It feels like an old friend. And sometimes <laughs> waterproof mascaras go really dry really quickly uh -huh. and clamp some lashes together, and you're like, oh, it's not what I want them to yeah. do yet. I still want to comb them through three more times. Yeah. It doesn't do that either. What we need you to do now is do some dramatic acting and cry your eyes out. Test it. And test it. Now I'm going to use the, I always use the top of the mascara just to sort of do the bottom lashes. And sometimes I will wipe the mascara over um, a tissue just so there's less on it. Less on it. And is that so that you don't just get messy? You don't get clumpy um, eyelashes, unless that's the look you're going for, which I quite like sometimes too. Yeah, build it up. And that, I, you can build this one up as well, which is... It's really good. It's really, really good. Good. And now we're going to do our beauty pie. It's called Gleam Me Up. Clean me up. It's a kind of a corally pink and it's highlightery. So which is nice because it does sort of two jobs really. Where when you're putting um blusher on, where? Because some people are like I would say smile, smile first and then pick the middle of your cheek, which yeah. for here is you. But this I would say I'm gonna place it here and I'm gonna blend it up your so you sort of cheekbone. Like lift. Because it's so it's got the shine, so yeah. it's like two two levels to it, colour yeah. and highlighter. Right. And it's really creamy versus like oh. a powder blush? Yes, I mean, I love a powder blush. I like matte ones are great if you've got a lot of open pores because yeah. the shine attracts too much light. Oh. But i big fan of powder ones that have got um, luminescence in them. You right. know that because yeah. I love them. Yeah. And then I also love cream blushes because they're just, there's Easy. so many good ones now. There wasn't 10 years ago, but now there's so many brilliant ones. I find um, a cream blush easier to apply. Yeah. I don't know why. I just I just do. It feels like I've got more control yeah, over it. Yeah, you have, I think, because it moves. Yeah. A powder blush. So if you smile a little bit, I'm going to apply this here. So you could 
with your fingers blend it out like this. Yeah, so I'm just tapping, or the likes of me will get a nice big brush and go, because I'm smudge it in. I'm pushing it in a bit more. And why would you have to push it in? Just so it becomes friends with your skin, right? And, and like sits together, sits together rather than sits on top. Yeah, I'm gonna apply a little bit more along that little. A blusher, like even when you're feeling a bit tired, a bit of blush wakes you up. Yeah, I go to blush, mascara. Oh my god, lip lip lipstick. lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> Always lipstick, if in doubt. Yeah, put lipstick on. So maybe so that's. I mean, it goes on like a dream. So nice and smooth. I don't know. I'd probably even experiment and put that on eyelids, but Would that's you? the stuff that I end up doing as a as a wash. Yeah. Especially if it's a holiday kit. Mm, quite like that idea. Yeah, that, that's, I often, some products say you can't use them in different areas, but I sometimes just yeah. have an experiment. So I have to try it. Okay. Yeah. I'm just tidying up something there. There we go. And now we have, what is it? That's proper name is Shine Up Lux. I love this. Which is like the fat crayon of dreams for lips. We love, I don't, I love so them. I drive Patsy mad because she has all these beautiful um, lipsticks. Like, bags and bags of lipsticks and I'll, I'm like can I have the lip balm one can I have the lip balm one because I I can't bear it when you put lipstick on and it goes dry or it does that horrible thing where it sits there or it goes on your teeth so I'll have all these you know color-coded kits and all in <laughs> OCD order and she's like nope and I'm like oh that one, please. That one. But that this, one. this I is love that one. But what I love about this is it, it swivels up. So this is just. This is the dream. Yeah. And it's a gorgeous raspberry color. Lovely. And the balm, there's a balminess. I mean, I'm not too sure what the actual ingredient is, but it's got that lip balm color pigment combo, which yeah. is great. So the lip color is called Hello Petal, and it's the perfect kind of raspberry petal tone, which is. Um, great for you I think because it's mirroring your natural skin tone which is your, your skin your lip skin color I know what you mean it's more yeah. it's more it's natural. natural but you can build it up good place to start and it's like that sort of um rose bud kind of peony that really nice yes. sort of blossomy nice fresh yeah, like and and red red is great and red is fun and it really pops but that's probably if you're a bit scared of red or you want something a bit more daytime this is your friend yeah that's a good place to yeah. start Let's go. And you just put it on like a lipstick. So I would go heavily in the middle. So like you've had a lolly and you've got that stain and then yeah. you can just bring it round to the edge. Okay. So here we go. But you could do this without even using a mirror. Mm -hmm. But like just now I'm... And again, you could build up the... Um... Yeah, sorry. You, you could build, build up the intensity. Like if you want it to be less, I'd like sometimes blot it. So it's just a tiny sheen. So that's what you've got right now. Just a bit. Just a bit. Or you or, can go for it. You can then treat which, it like a lipstick. So use the point to go all around your lip line. Uh -huh. I'd advise you to go back and forth quite a few times to get the pigment out. And then you just exaggerate it exactly to your lip line. You go for it in the middle and you just get way more pigment. Which I'll then blot off immediately. <laughs> and be on your way. <laughs> it's only because I quite like that little bit. Yeah, where it's, you're mirroring your natural lip colour. Yeah. You don't really want to go too wild. Too crazy. Whereas I just like to just distract from everything with a bright red lip. So is that it? That is Am I it. done? Yes, you are. You know, I've got to try and recreate this. You're good luck. I think you'll, you, you'll be good. I know, I quite enjoy it. You have perfected this look yourself. There's times where Holly's turned off and gone, oh. That's because I've copied it. Love the need, best. Doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> and what's lovely is the whole holiday kit. The holiday kit. <laughs> I like saying it. Comes in its own bag. Which I love the bag. Anyway. All my kit is in military style bags like this. So you can see everything. And for yourself, I mean, I love that it's quite deep. Yeah. A lot of these are made quite sort of shallow, but this is a really good you depth. You can fit lots of stuff in. And I mean, you can put your makeup in it. Obviously, it's an amazing makeup bag. But also, like, you can... This yeah. is a good wash bag. This is a good, like, if you're going away and you it's want to put minis. your knickers in there. Yeah. But it's gorgeous. I think it's like an added bonus for the kit. Yeah, keep it all in one place. Yeah. Um, thank you, Patsy. That's all right. That's lovely. Thank you. Feeling good? <laughs>